Do not go in there. Woo! What is Ev? What is up, everybody? It's your boy. At it's your boy. One more try. It is your boy. See money. It's actually really hot today. I don't know why I'm wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Let's fix that real quick. We just got sweet hat, tank top, and jacket. Cold air, warm lugs. Warm lungs. Try and stop me! Nike! Last one gets a rotten leg. A rotten egg. I always thought it was last one is a rotten egg, but I don't know. The sun is out, so let's get the gun is out. Okay. Yeah. All right, so where were we? First of all, hello. Welcome back, everyone. After a brief hiatus from the internets, your boy is back online. We now have 46 days. 46 days until Western States. In the words of Woody Harrelson's iconic role in Zombieland, it's time to nut up or shut up. We will be saving the training updates for just a tad bit later because today we have a racing update to share. This past weekend, I competed in the Quad Rock 50, the 25 mile edition. This year I came in with pretty low expectations, had a really solid week of training leading up to it, but then the pre-race week, the doo-doo hit the fan, and I did not have the best week of focus and mental prep. As a result, wasn't feeling particularly stoked, as the surfer community says. However, I was convinced on Thursday evening that I needed to do this to bust some rust, or ru rust some bust? No, and this was gonna be the perfect opportunity to do that. Drove up the morning of the race, and I had some company. Last year, my brother joined me for this race. Dang it, I have except for these last two times. This year I had the lovely Julie, not only doing the driving, what's up driver, but also doing a little bit of race day filming. <sighs> Try to make sure that gets included, assuming I can get written consent from her. It is 5.06 a.m. on Saturday morning, and we are getting gas right now on our way to Lori State Park to race the Quad Rock 25. I don't think I'm 100% ready, but I'm showing up. I've got a bib. At the very least, it's gonna be a nice wake up call because it is exactly 49 days until Western States. This will be a nice test to see where I am, but we've got an hour of driving. We've got a partner in crime today. We'll touch base after the race. Nothing like the smell of bananas in the morning. I mean, it's better than an outhouse. Bye, Felicia! I bet they're coming to the race. I bet they're gonna be late. Peace! Woo! Good morning! Show up to the race, begin my warm up, get in my pre race festivities in the bathroom. Get in my leg swings, a little bit of stretching. How are the underwear lines? What? How are the underwear lines? You don't wear underwear? No, the underwear lines. I am wearing underwear. I don't understand. It's fashion. Get to the start line for one of the best national anthems I have ever heard. Of course, the only thing that was going through my head at the start line at this point. That's a lovely, lovely voice. That's a lovely, lovely voice. As soon as the gun goes off, I hit the front. Three, two, one, go! The first two miles are incredibly flat, so I took it out pretty hard, but then something unexpected happened. Started climbing, and it turns out I do not have my climbing legs. This course is not a road marathoner's paradise. Go up and down and up and down and up 
and down. And after about a climb and a half, found myself three or four minutes behind the two leaders. My legs were really not in the mood and I knew it could be a fairly long day. Made it to the top of the second climb, expected to see Julie, but unfortunately got just a tad bit lost out there. So I'm going. Hey, this shoot I ate of the right is going to be such a masterpiece. So as you can see over there, paparazzis are looking for the moko. They are hiding in the bushes. They were here not long ago. But my head just wasn't in the game today and I waited for my legs to wake up and they just never heard the alarm. Get up to the final climb, smiled a little bit, enjoyed the scenery. It is absolutely beautiful out in Lori State Park. Get to the finish line, I had the sun beaming down on me. I wasn't chafing at all. I should have been really happy, but I was just grumpy. And you can really see it pretty clearly in this finish line footage. I'm grumpy. <laughs> And that's not really how I want to show up at a race. Not happy! Especially at the finish line. Got in a quick cool down, realized the world was not ending, apologized to my friends who were there. Finally, found a smile on my face. Now I'm always smiling. Yeah, I was disappointed with how I felt. It was a massive wake up call for me. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, this is Chris. Mr. Marco, this is your wake up call. Thank you. Click. I expected to feel better than I did. I had been putting in some decent training, but it turns out if you lose sight of that focus, even for a couple of days, it can be incredibly detrimental to your mental state. And having that confidence at the start line, the most important thing to have. The big takeaway here is I can't afford any more slip ups. I want to show up to Western States feeling like I've given it everything I could to show up as prepared as possible. A little fight in you. I like that. Another important takeaway, my climbing definitely needs some work. When I was in road training, I was probably only getting 3,000, 4,000 feet of climbing in per week. I was doing a lot of treadmill running. As much as I want to continue my treadmill time, it's gotta get out of here. I need more time on trails. I need more vert. Final takeaway, climbing. 3,000 feet of climbing per week isn't sufficient. I need to be at 20,000. I don't know why I'm using fists. Western States has 17,000 feet of climbing. If I'm running 100 miles per week, I probably should be climbing 17,000 as well. What you do in practice is what you're going to do in the race. All in all, slightly disappointing experience, but I walk away with a free t-shirt for my mom. Happy Mother's Day, and also a very nice coffee mug. If anything, this is going to be motivating for me. Third place is nothing to be ashamed of, but I know I can do better. If I can put in the work, I can get the results that I'm looking for. Special shout out to Miss Julie for accompanying me on this trip. This is quite fun actually. I can come back anytime. Cheers. Bearing with my grumpiness, most importantly getting a little bit of video footage to make this entire experience a bit more bearable. Oh, you didn't see this earlier? Kodiak Cakes now has frozen waffles at Costco. These are delicious. Speaking of Kodiak cakes, I owe you a pancake video. See what we can do to get the attention of the higher ups at Kodiak cakes. Folks who went above and beyond, I apologize for the delay. The prizes are coming. And finally, would love to start sharing some more regular training updates. Things are about to get a little spicy. I need you to hold this guy accountable. The best way to do that, share it publicly on YouTube. So if I fail, I get publicly shamed by all of you. We got some work to do on these guns. Got some running to do, some coffee to finish. You all have a lovely day. Do not go in there. Woo!